Hi, today's topic is how to close every sale close to 100 percent. Close to 100 percent. Yes, I mean it. Before going to the topic, a small question to ask you Are you struggling in closing? Do you want to improve your closing techniques? Or do you spend more of more time convincing your clients? Do you want to shorten your time so that you can just close just like that? Are you interested? Okay. Before going to the topic, I mean, I'm going to share this, but I just want to ask you something. Yes, closing. Many people, when you're talking about closing, many people th- I mean say that closing is the end. So my question to you is, is closing at the end of the presentation or the beginning of the presentation? Okay, think about it and we'll go to the presentation. Let me share my personal story. I mean, I've shared it, but again, don't repeat it because this is very important here. Like um, I was from a technical background, from technical background, I jumped into marketing for a Singapore based company as a marketing manager where we are selling seminars of the world best gurus like Brian Tracy, uh, Joe Girard, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, and Shiva Kiara from India. Uh, on Anthony Robbins, there are many, many mentors and gurus which we are selling it online, their videos and uh, completely online product okay nothing physical so i thought it's because i i have read some book, some of the books so i said i thought okay I, it's very very easy for me to sell these products and uh, i used to present for them to you know, close to one to uh, one hour to 45 minutes at the end almost 99 percent of the people said mr stanley everything is good i like the product but let me get back to you i'll call you back or i'll call you later i was totally disappointed not because it's not just one or two days okay for six months zero sales yes i was not able to convince even one person in this six months i got really fed up and i was thinking that okay this is not my profession let me just switch off and go back to my uh, technical area but something prompted me not to ask me like these people who are talking about are the like the street street smarts okay like people like brian tracy who's a sales guru okay and uh, Joe Girard is in the Guinness Book of World Record as the best salesman. What can I learn from these people? So why don't I learn from these people? Why don't I, instead of searching, instead of just switching it off, okay? Why don't I learn so that I can also become somebody like them? For another six months, I started to listen to them seriously. I learned a lot from them, seriously. But again, I was struggling on closing. I was very presenting it very good, but closing was not happening to me. And I started reading a lot of books on closing. But somewhere, something popped up in my mind. And that's what I say, you know, is closing at the beginning or at the end. I was actually trying to close people at the end. But I understood this. Closing is not the end. At the end, closing is at the beginning. In fact, I close people in the first two to three minutes. And I teach people also. Okay, that's a technique. Okay, something very interesting, something very different, which I do. And that's where I have all the guts, all the confidence to say, it's close to 100%. It's close to 100%. Okay. So how do I do that? And I mean, I can't share everything. In fact, I said that this is a short video which we create. Okay. So most of the things are shared during my training program, but still I want to give some tips to you. So I want to share some tips, five tips. So the, some mistakes also what people do. You can just correct yourself if you are doing these mistakes. Or if you want to learn, I mean, put these tips in your, in your presentation. You can close more people. The first up, first tip which I want to share to you is know your prospect first. Know who is your prospect. This is very, very important. Why I'm trying to share is you know, many people don't know who the person is. It's, it's not just a human being there. What is your background? What is the background of this particular person? What is his status? Okay, so there are so many things. What is his financial background? So many things. Who is he? The society. Until unless you don't know anything about him, okay, it is very difficult for you to pitch the product. Fine. You meet somebody on the street. So how do I know him? Talk to him. Try to know more about him. Because until unless you don't know who he is, you can't pitch your product or you can't present your product. This is the meaning. The mistake what people do is they just pitch the product to everybody the same way. The second one which I want to share there is don't speak the same language to everybody. Don't speak the same language to everybody. This is the biggest mistake many people are doing. Thinking that everybody can buy with this script. In fact, very recently, my, my son, who completed his uh, plus to the 12th standard, is 18 years of age, 
and one of my friends said uh, he's having a company so he said why don't you send my send your son to my office so he'll get to know how we function okay because we are also in the technology base and uh, he can also learn some technologies and all fine i said okay no problem because as it is uh, instead of spending some time you're wasting your time here i mean, asked my son to go there he went there and um, they gave him a, i mean gave him a task of you know uh, selling their product okay their course to the engineering students the final year or the third year engineering student almost the final year engineering students okay who are on the verge of you know completion and they are looking for a job so they had a product okay they had a product which actually when you can when you when you can go through this course it's a four months course you will get a direct placement also it's interesting right so everybody will be interested to uh, go for the placement because immediately there's a job immediately will be absorbed by a company so my son started to uh talk to them or sell to these people as a script which was given to them given to him but for one hour he tried because what actually happened was you know, they gave a database of people who were actually they they already did a uh, presentations in some colleges so they already had a database of people where they mentioned interested or not interested so already the feedback is there interested or not interested so it's very easy just not just not to call people who are not interested just to call people who are interested because they shared they showed the interest uh, in the presentation in the product so my son was just called those people who are interested but he started to speak as per the script given to him and what he found out is nobody was buying from him so he immediately remembered me because he knows me that what is my area again in fact i have said many times my area is more into sales okay and he called me and said dad i want to help i said go ahead what is that then he said this is what it is and i am pitching like this but uh, nobody is buying from me i said the first thing which I, which i wanted to share to him was okay don't tell your stories there don't tell about who you are blah what you are and what is your company all about this is the biggest mistake another mistake mistake many people do so don't do that try to know more about them try to know more about them and pitch the product as per their need as per they need bill it or not in the evening he came to me and said i close more people and the beauty is i close even those people who said i am not interested <laughs> but was disappointed because he said some people didn't buy from me i said no problem it happens because you're very new this is your first day and you'll improve your improve your sales skills okay the third one which i want to share here is do you believe your product do you believe in your product very very important until unless you don't believe in your product okay if they if you don't have see value in your product don't try to you can't close people or you can't make people buy your product this is the biggest another mistake people do know just push anything just for the sake of money you cannot you may get one or two people but you cannot get you cannot close more people so do you believe this is there conviction yes this product can make a difference in somebody's life this product is such a different compared in the market yes people will definitely want it but people will be definitely needing my product do you believe that and the fourth one very important very very important this is my first thing which i which, which which hit my head was people don't buy your product people buy you people don't buy your product people buy you in fact i can say this i learned from joe girard so it's how you sell okay so it is not actually the, the it's like like a machine okay sometimes we we speak like a script a scripted language okay and try to push the product people don't buy from you people no want to know people i mean until unless people don't trust you people don't believe they don't buy from you so if people don't buy your product people buy you that's very very important so how do you build that personal relationship with them there are so many things which i, I mean again there are only tips there are a lot of things which i can be sharing only through my training programs and the last one put yourself in the prospects shoe and ask what is for me why should i buy what is for me that is that is very important question where people be asking why should i buy from you why should i buy your product what is for me if you cannot answer this question people don't buy from you and the last one as a bonus which i want to give you this is favorite thing which we say hit the rod when it is hot hit the iron rod okay hit the iron hit the iron or iron rod 
when it is hot many people do a mistake of just presenting to them sharing everything and when they say i'll get back to you they just say okay and come back i want to add up only one thing eh? it's very secret but i want to share it. if a person says i'll get back to you how do you respond to it how do you respond to that well you can just say like this okay i don't know what's your product but you can just say like this wow very interesting okay so when can i get back to you tomorrow or day after tomorrow this is a choice question choice closing what we say choice closing tomorrow or day after tomorrow the person may say uh, not tomorrow day after tomorrow don't stop there okay fine day after tomorrow uh, the morning or the afternoon maybe he say sometimes sometimes he says okay in the afternoon okay fine good the afternoon around uh, 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock okay fine 4 o'clock so 4 o'clock day after tomorrow 4 o'clock shall can we meet up yes where when over closed but many people just get give away and come and after that they don't know how to close because they already presented everything and after one or two days after three days after one week they call and ask for prospect uh, sir do you remember me i came to you last week or came to you last month uh, um, uh, so what is your views about it sir <laughs> you know what will be the response uh, you call me later again or i'm not interested it lost it what i saw was we almost close 99.9% but that 1% that closing the closing is more when you get the money or get a check from the person that's closing okay closing is not just a word also closing is more about taking the money from them okay close taking a check from them and that's what closing is and this is what i teach to people okay and now i have my personal testimony because many people think that okay stanley is very easy to speak about this you no know, bearing your code there and on a video <laughs> have you really done it yeah one thing i want to share uh when you talk about sales you know, many people think that sales is something like you have a big mango tree with a lot of mangoes and you throw some stones one or two mangoes will just fall so this is what people are doing in sales okay you meet people you meet people you meet people some people will say some people some people will say yes some people will say no it's okay keep moving on my sales is not like that my sales training is not like that or i with the way i do is like you no know, one mango tree sorry one mango with one stone hit it it has to fall and that is what i close right so here my personal story my personal testimony okay uh, as i said the first 6 months of my i mean when i was in the company i was the first 6 months i was literally struggling the second 6 months the second half only learning and after that i was so excited and i, and I want to know um, or i want to prove that yes, yes i am i am good into sales and uh, i had a friend in delhi okay so we I mean we jointly went to chandigarh where i thought this is the right place for me so we went there and uh, i said to my friend put anybody in front of me i'm going to close he laughed at me and said stanley you're my friend but i and as i, as I know I, i know your background also you're from a technical background and uh, i am from a pharma industry and i never said this put anybody in front of me i'll close i said so friend i don't know about you and i'm not talking about you i'm talking about me and i'm talking about from where i learned or from whom i learned it is not a matter of how many years you spend in marketing or how many year, years you spend in sales it's how you sell that matters and this is a challenge i'm here in chandigarh for 3 days even if one person says i am not interested in your product the challenge is i will just pack my luggage and go back so he gathered the next day we we had a gathering of 10 people in my room i just opened my laptop and i was just showing my presentation i was sharing to them okay about this uh, seminars online by like people like antony robbins george rat shiv care all these people are you know we said it's a package we are promoting it as i was going through the presentation the first objection came from them is mr stanley can you speak hindi more because your english is too fast and we are not able to understand it okay i switched on to hindi i, I mean i started speaking hindi and uh, almost at the end i knew now the problem is i am selling an international product in fact the people it's a complete english product okay people from uk people from us people from singapore malaysia australia there are so many other people so many mentors and gurus are there if they cannot understand my english okay how they are able to how they are going to buy this particular product i foresee that okay and i i, I just pitched at the end before even they objecting it i said i can ask you only one question before i close 
you are all in your mid 40s and 50s and uh, you are you have you want to learn your i mean you want to improve your english skills also am i right they said yes so do you think you can go and learn english from a tutorial college right now no but here what we have is we have a product okay and in this videos we also have a subtitles so what actually happens is you can also improve your english okay by reading that and understanding what they speak so in turn you are not only learning english you are also learning business you know what happened all the 10 people gave cash i'm talking about 2004 they gave cash to me and said we are in and we want the product right now i took the cash and i took their names and they said okay actually the procedure is here they have to go to the company uh, website they have to go and log in or they can go to the bank in okay bank in the money and uh, send us a receipt but they just said no no we believe you and we want to happen right now and they took the cash and gave it to me okay and the funny thing my friend who was with me accompanying me he he turned to me and said i mean when we when we came back to the room okay he came turned back to me and said mr stanley i'll tell you something don't feel bad you are a mesmerizer <laughs> you are a mesmerizer you mesmerized them i said no 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 i didn't mesmerize them i made them realize i made them realize in what way this particular product can benefit them because first thing is as i said in my five points okay first thing is i believe this product has changed me and only from this product i learned about sales only from this product i learned how to communicate better okay and i believe there's a huge stuff in this particular product so it's not mesmerizing it's making people realize okay and he was literally shocked literally shocked and this is how i started improving my sales skill and then so the question here is okay are you interested to improve your sales techniques are you interested in closing more sales like close to 100% like close to 100% and are you serious to improve your business to close to 1000% because that's what i challenge to people okay this program is completely online in fact i i do a combination of uh, mind power plus sales techniques okay so there is a business coaching it's a complete business coaching which we do and uh, i combine this okay how to use law of attraction and your business techniques the com combination i don't think many people are into this area and i do that okay and it's completely online it's less than 2 hours okay and if you are a person interested or if you are a person selling that okay yes i want to know more about this my numbers are flashing here i mean you can be on whatsapp also you can just message me on whatsapp and i'll be there to help you out and if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe to youtube channel and press the bell symbol next to us so that you get constant updates and if you are new to my facebook live programs be a part of my facebook live programs regularly and as i keep saying again and again please share this video to as many people as you can wilfred stanley signing off from rapid mind power bye thank you have a great day